on there. Now we have some multiple choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have some multiple choice sports trivia questions. I gotta be honest, I'll need an answer like two of these. They're tough. They're tough. All right, everyone in their group. Okay, here we go. Number one. Which of the following is not a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame? Is it A, Ty Cobb, B, Keith Rose, C, Roberto Clemente, and D, Joe DiMaggio? I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said. Is the answer on the next slide? Two slides, so they're Okay, good. Good. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, everyone have their answers locked in. The answer is B. Yeah! C Rose. He cheated, that's right. That's why he's not in there. That's what we're going to do. All right. Okay, number two. There are four Williams in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Which of them is following is not one of them? Is it Billy, Ted, Ken, or Joe? Joe. Good luck. I know Ted Williams is a Williams, but that's the only Ted Williams I do on this. So, you have a 33% chance of getting it right. Everyone's answer is locked in. 33, because I just gave everyone. B, B is a Ted Williams. That's, Ted Williams is a baseball player. All right, answers are locked in. Everyone got them locked in? Okay, the answer is C. Anyone with C? Anyone with C? All right. Good job. All right, number three. Number three. In 1998, Jorgen Hammergard. That sounds like uh, Thor's brother. Maybe his second cousin. Oh, I didn't say his whole name. Jorgen Hammergard Hansen was elected into which Hall of Fame? Ice hockey, badminton, ski jumping, or the gymnastics Hall of Fame? Where's the Norris guy? Hall of Fame. Thor Odinson. Alright, everyone's answer is locked in. But we're waiting. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Answers are locked in. It is me. How many people put ice hockey? I totally thought it was ice hockey. Gymnastics. Okay, next question. Which of the following is not an actual Hall of Fame? A, the Quilters Hall of Fame. B, the National Cleveland Style Poco Poca Hall of Fame. Sorry. C, the National Mining Hall of Fame. Or D, the International Vacuum Cleaner and Hall of Fame. That's a lot. That's a lot of one question. Lock them in, lock them in. Lock them in. Lock them in. All right. You got your answer, Carson? You guys locked in? Here we go. The answer is D. Oh, it sounds like you got some of those right. Okay. All right, number five. Number five. Which NFL team has the most Hall of Fame members? The most Hall of Fame members? A. The New York Giants, B, the Bears, C, Dallas Cowboys, or D, the Washington Redskins. So all scoring franchises. All right, everyone's answer is locked in. Yeah. It is B. Oh. Oh. All right, last, last question. Here we go, last question. In 2016, Hiroki Sagatoku was inducted into the Hall of Fame as a builder. What sport does Hiroki Sagatoku play that gives this honor? 
A, curling. B, weightlifting. C, ping pong. Or D, the bobsled. Ooh, that's tough. That is tough. <laughs> All right, everyone's answer is locked in. The answer is A. Who knows what curling is? Curling is a pretty fun sport. You can do that in Atlanta now. There's a club in Peachtree somewhere in Peachtree City. It's the ice skating where you sleep and you throw those stones. stones. Oh, Alright, how many got all six right? Anybody no. get all six right? No. Anybody get five right? No. Anybody get four right? No. Anybody get three right? No. Two groups. Alright, we have a tie, so we do have a tiebreaker question. Tiebreaker question, the first one who can stand up and shout out this answer is the winner. So be ready. I'm going to read it, that way you can't read it first. You ready? Here's the question. Andre the Giant is a Hall of Fame member of what sport? What? <laughs> oh. Wrestling. Wrestling. Okay. She said it first. <laughs> but she didn't yell it out. That's said, so cool. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even hear that. It's true. You mean All wrestling? All right, we have a winner. You guys are welcome to the VIP section. Oh, come on! 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 Oh, Everybody knows Andre the Giant is a wrestler. Yeah, right. A wrestler, though. Not a wrestler. Something like that. Yeah, he picked up a car. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody get settled. Finally, we're going to be getting settled. Good morning. Who woke up with a little chill in the air this morning? It's been kind of chilly. I was excited. I know. I was excited to put my fleece on this morning. And, you know, you really, did anybody put up their Christmas tree over the weekend? We wanted to. Oh. We wanted to. Oh. What are you doing today? I hope I don't so, We put up our Christmas tree yesterday, and I was so excited because I love to make hot chocolate and put up the Christmas tree and all that kind of fun stuff. So. Anyway, well, I'm so excited. We've got a great story this morning that I'm going to share with everybody. Yeah. Is my coffee cup back there anywhere? Is you my... It's good. I don't see it. It's right, it's right there. On the stage. On the floor of the stage. Dang. No. No. no, it's blue. Like green. Oh, green. Yeah, it's green. Like green. 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 Oh. Are you blind? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't get started until, you know, I've finished a cup of coffee, so. Well, the ghost is back now. No, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. So, sorry, I just must have overlooked it. I must have just overlooked my coffee this morning. I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but. Um, speaking of overlooking things, have you ever, like, it was almost hidden in plain sight, right? It was right there where everybody else could see it, and I was looking, but I didn't see it anywhere. Have you ever looked over things before? Like your mom sent you upstairs to find something in your room and she knows she put it in your room, but you can't find it. And then mom goes up there and she puts her hand right on it. Anybody? Yeah, Carson Pullen, where are you? Raise your hand. He's not in here. Yeah. So it happens, right? But what about you? Have you ever been overlooked? Some of you say yes. Some of you say yes. Tell me, raise your hand and tell me a time when you feel like that you were overlooked. When were you overlooked? Uh, sometimes, like, people don't, like, uh, when some really tall people, like, I have a friend down on the, like, really tall, tall, and really 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 tall, and I got you. Who else? Who's ever been overlooked? How many of you play on the team? Anybody 
to play on the team of any kind? Yeah. yeah I'm playing a Fortnite team. Have you ever been, listen, have you ever been sitting on the bench and like the game is really, really close and you know that if the coach would just put you in, that you could do something really good that you could either help the team win or you could help the team like get better field position or something like that, but the coach just overlooked you. Anybody ever been in that position? Yeah. Anybody ever been in class before and been working on a group project? Ugh, right? Everybody hates those. But have you ever been working with a group and you have a great idea, but somebody in your group or nobody in your group will listen to what you have to say? They just overlook you, right? They don't pay any attention. Has anybody ever felt these kind of feelings? Has ever, anybody ever been in this kind of situation? Yeah. Yeah, I've been in this situation before, so I completely understand. I've been in a situation before where we were moving some furniture, and instead of Jeremy, Mr. Jeremy letting me help him, he calls somebody out like a neighbor to help him move this piece of furniture. And I can do it, okay? I am strong. But he overlooked me because I guess he thought I was a girl and I couldn't lift as much as he could, so he called our neighbor. So I get it. I totally get it. But at the same time, I want to be recognized, right? I want to be able to do what everybody else is doing. There's a story in the Bible that we're going to talk about today where someone was overlooked. So I want us to start by talking about a kid named David. Does anybody know anything about a kid named David in the Bible? David in your life? David? What do you know about David? Are you crazy? You don't know anything about Nobody knows anything. What do you know about David? Okay. What else do we know about David? Um, Who was a king? Okay, so here's the thing. Everybody knows about David and Goliath, right? But we don't seem to know very much about David. So let's talk a little bit for just a second about David. Does anybody know? He was a kid. He was a kid, a teenager maybe. But do we know what his job was? He had a job. What was David's job? He was a shepherd. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If I had to have a job when I was a teenager, I'd be signing up for Shepherd, right? It's got to be a pretty easy job, don't you think? Have you ever seen sheep attack a person? No. They don't really do anything, do they? Yeah. So how hard can it be to watch sheep? Right? This has to be an easy job. No? Well, thank goodness he was not a goat herder. He was a sheep herder. But actually, truthfully, being a shepherd was not an easy job. See, what happened was, in that time, shepherds would take hundreds of sheep at a time. Now, also keep in mind that these sheep were a whole family's livelihood. It's what they depended on to trade for food, to trade for clothing. It was their whole family, not just his, not just David's responsibility, but it fed their whole family. So he would take hundreds of sheep and walk, sometimes for days, to new pastures so that the sheep could eat. Okay, so can you imagine keeping a hundred sheep all together going in the same direction, walking for days? No, me neither. Would not be interested. But at the same time, while at night time, what do you think would try to get the sheep? Wolves. Sometimes it was mountain lions. It could have been wolves. It could have been bears. All kind of things. And so do you think that David would just lay down and pop a squat underneath the tent and just go to sleep and not worry about it? What would he have to do? Play off the tent. I am not fighting off a mountain lion for a sheep. I'm just going to tell you right now. Okay, he's not going to do it. Because did he have a gun? No. No, he had a stick. And, and what else do we know that David had? A uh, 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 slingshot. A slingshot, right? So David's job was really actually super duper hard and really, really, really important. 
important, okay? So David is out uh, doing his shepherd thing, doing his gig, and he knows that there's a war. And there's a war going on between the Philistines and the Israelites, two groups that are really fighting. And David, being the younger brother, is the one that's left to do all the shepherding, right? What do you think his older brothers are out doing? Fighting. Yeah, so David's older brothers are out fighting in this war. He's, his older brothers are fighting against the Philistines. And so David brings all the sheep back home one day, and his dad says, David... I need you to go out and check on your brothers, okay? I need you to go to where the battle is, and I need you to check on your brothers. And we're going to add this one out. Let's do that, okay? So I need a David. Me. Who can be a David? Mm, yes, come on. I need a David. So, yes, well, David was not a big guy, I don't think. Okay, so hold your arms up. Let's just slide this on. Put this in. Put your arms in. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, because you know all of your cool shepherds had the blue overcoat, not the green one. So yeah. Uh -huh. And then yeah, hang on. And then let's put your belt on. Arms up. Because we don't want you. You know, to not have belts, because that was the number one accessory back in the day. And we're not sure what this is, so we're going to make it look like Rambo. <laughs> and, okay, that seems legit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Okay, and we'll give you this. Okay, so here is David, right? A lonely, sad, shepherding, teenage, er ish. Boy, you're not blind. You're not blind, okay? <laughs> you're hitting the sheep with it. You you have to. Like the, um, okay. So, yeah. So we've got David, and let's read from 1 Samuel to talk about this battle, because we know this battle was big. The Philistines and the Israelites were battling against one another, and the Philistines had a major, major weapon. Anybody know what their big, uh, bad weapon was? Tyler, what was their big weapon? Goliath. Goliath. Let's read this right here. Okay, so Tyler, read for us real quick about okay. Goliath right here. A mighty hero named Goliath came out of the field. He was from Gath. He was more than nine feet tall. Okay, so Goliath was one mean dude, like literally a giant, nine feet tall. Okay, Goliath was nine feet tall. And what he would do is he would stand there and look at the Israelite army and he would just mock them. You guys smell like socks. <laughs> 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 See, I don't know if you had socks back then, but you still smell like them. <laughs> All right, First Samuel seventeen ten tells us a little bit about that. Uh, Haley, read that for us. Goliath continued, "This very day, I dare the soldiers of Israel to send a man down to fight against me." Okay, so he said, "I dare you. I have double dog dare you. Come, come on, bring, bring the best you got. Bring it on." And so poor little David, come back over here. Okay, at this point, David is just coming back from the fields, right? And he's not a part of the army at all. But his father says, I need you to go and check on your brothers. And while you're there, I want you to take them some lunch. Yeah, take them some lunch. And so that's what he does. He he runs to the battlefield, and let's read right it's here. It's not going to make it to him now. Oh, yes, it will. 1 Samuel 17, 20. Somebody over here, read. Go, Carson, read. Early in the morning, David let his father's flock in the care of his shepherds. Early in the morning, David left his father's flock in the care of his shepherds. David loaded up with food and started out. Just as Jesse, Jesse had the rest. David reached Israel after God had been gone out to his battle. So 
And it didn't matter that he didn't have the sword and the javelin and the golden helmet. What mattered was that he had God on his side. Okay? So what I want you to take away from today is this right here. Hear me very carefully. Thank you. Don't let somebody overlook you. And, and don't think that you're not special enough and you're not great enough to do great things for God's kingdom. Just because you're a kid doesn't mean that God has not already blessed you and given you some really special gifts and talents and abilities that you can use right now to impact God's kingdom. It might seem small to you, but telling a friend about Jesus, that's a great thing. That's big. That's huge for God's kingdom. Inviting a friend to come to church on Wednesday night or Sunday morning, that's huge. Doing kind things and honoring adults or other people, it seems small, but it's really huge. All right? So as you go forward this week, I want you to think about those things. That don't, let, don't let somebody overlook the great things that you can do. But at the same time, I don't want you guys to overlook somebody else, okay? Don't overlook a friend in your group that might have something to add of benefit. Don't overlook that kid at recess that's standing by himself that's all alone. Hey, okay? take those kids in. All right, so let's close in prayer real quick and then we'll move on to worship. So everybody bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you so much for this time, Lord, just to share in your word with these students, Lord, and God, I just pray that they'll know that they, they shouldn't be overlooked and that the things that they do for your kingdom are all great and powerful when we know that you have our backs. Lord, just be with these students as they go through this week. Father, help them to be bold and be strong in their witness. God, we just ask all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. That was a very great lesson, you guys. Can we give a hand for Ms. Cole?